Welcome back to the College of Tuber Studies. Today's video is a bit more technical, but it's something I just wanted to address because it's something I have wondered about in my time on YouTube. Frame rates, video frame rates. Yes, we're getting that technical. There are three basic video frame rates you can use. 24, 30, and 60. In Europe, I think they also have 50, but I'm talking about America here, man. So first of all, we're gonna start with 30 frames a second because that's what I'm using right now. And I have started to use that on all my videos on this channel and the Frank James channel, my main channel. 30 frames a second is, it's actually like 29.97, but we'll say 30 for ease. 30 is a good one for video. It looks more like video. It's what a lot of TV is in also. Like if you watch the news, I believe that is 30 frames a second. It's a, it's a solid choice and it's what I use because it looks, it looks like video, but it looks professional. It looks like something that would be on TV. It doesn't look too serious and cinematic, but it also doesn't look too video-y and cheap. You know what I mean? 30 frames a second is what I recommend. And if you're filming on your phone, specifically, I know the iPhone, you really only have the choice of 30 or 60 frames a second. So just shoot in 30. It's like the default. One thing you should note is that some people don't like 30 frames a second. They say it creeps them out. I used to be that way, but uh, I have learn to love it, I guess. You might say, what does that even mean, Frank? What is, how does it creep you out? Well, I'm gonna switch now to 24 frames a second and you'll be able to see a slight difference in what it looks like. Okay, now we're in 24 frames a second and what you might notice is that it looks, it looks different, right? It looks a little bit less like video and a little bit more like a movie, like film, because 24 frames a second, technically 23.97 or something like that, that's what movies are shot in, and that's what they've been shot in for a long time. So whenever you go to see a movie, it's in 24 frames a second, so we get used to that as being like this cinematic thing. And it just looks a lot more professional. You might say, well, Frank, if that looks so professional, why don't you use it anymore? And I shot most of my videos for like the first year I was on YouTube, the first two years I was on YouTube in 24 frames a second. But then I s moved away from it because it started to feel too professional in a sense. Like, t like I was trying to be too cinematic, too artistic. Now that might just be me and it doesn't really matter. The other reason I changed away from 24 frames a second is because I was doing a lot of green screen work and 24 frames a second doesn't look great with a green screen, at least with my setup. You know, 24 frames a second, when you slow it down frame by frame is very blurry and that gets, that gets very apparent when you use a green screen. So if you watch like my, my 16 personalities at a job interview, that's in 24 frames a second and the first few of those I did, and it just looks a lot more blurry in front of the green screen, whereas then I switched to 60 frames a second and it looks a lot more crisp. So, uh, I would, you know, 24 frames is great. Use it if you like this look, and there's nothing wrong with it. No one is gonna say, oh, I don't like that. It, it'll make you look professional, maybe a little too professional, you know, but you can't go wrong with 24 frames a second. And if you just don't know what to do, just go with 24 frames a second. Now we're gonna go to 60 frames a second and we'll see what that looks like. This is the most obvious difference in the look. So now I'm at 60 frames a second and you can probably really tell. It just looks a lot different, right? It looks, in a way it looks more real. It's like you're in the room with me it, because when you have 60 frames a second, it captures a lot more of the motion without blurring it, right? One of the things to keep in mind is that, here's, here's a tip that I learned uh, that was very helpful, is that when you're shooting video or film, you wanna keep your shutter speed constant. You wanna keep it at double what your frames per second is. So when you're shooting 24 frames a second, you wanna have it at 50 around double because the shutter speeds are fixed. If you're shooting 30 frames a second, you want it at, you want the shutter speed to be 1 60th of a second and at 60 frames a second, you want it at 120, 1 125th of a second shutter speed. That gives you the most natural 
uh, motion blur. Shooting at 60 frames a second, you have a higher shutter speed, so it's capturing more detail in the movement. And I will tell you, I, I really don't like 60 frames a second. It creeps me out. I don't like the way it looks. It just looks too fluid. It looks too much like a video game to me. Some people seem to like it, maybe because it looks more realistic. It definitely looks a lot more vloggy, right? Or, or like a lot more YouTube-y. Even though some of the biggest YouTubers like Casey Neistat doesn't use 60 frames a second. 60 frames a second, I would say don't use it unless you're doing something that requires a lot of action, like you doing sports or you're, you know, you like you have your GoPro on your bike. Something really active where you need to like capture all the movement in fine detail. And then also, like I mentioned, green screen looks a little better when you have 60 frames a second. I did a lot of my 16 personality sketches with 60 frames a second and then I moved away from it because I was just starting to get fatigued by it. I was like, this doesn't look quite professional enough. This, and so I went to 30, split the difference between the 24 and the 60, and 30 to me just looks, it's this perfect balance of capturing the detail of the movement and looking professional. I don't know why, but 60 frames a second just does, does not look professional to me. I don't like it. It creeps me out when I see it. When I start a video and it's in 60 frames a second, I have the urge to click away. I don't wanna watch it. I just don't like it. So unless you're doing something action oriented, avoid 60 frames a second. Stick with 24 or 30. And like I said, at the beginning of the video, 30 is probably what you should be doing. Uh, it's the best all around frame, frame per second that you could be using. It's what I recommend. It's great for YouTube. 24 is also good, 60, not so good. Stay far away. In my humble opinion, that's what I got for today. Thanks for watching subscribe, all that jazz. Let's see where the green screen is gonna take us today. Oh look, we're in the tulip fields of Holland, or the Netherlands, whatever is the proper thing to call it. Very cool.